Hello, welcome to exercise two of lesson 17. We're going to write the following code that converts feet, or I should say converts inches to feet, but we're not gonna do it just one time. We're going to start at one inch and continuing up two inches, three inches, four inches, and so on, up to 20 inches. And we're going to do that conversion at every single point there, and we're going to output it as follows. Uh, for instance, two inches is equal to however much we calculate feet, three inches is equal to whatever we calculate feet, and so on. However, look at the note, and we're gonna go all the way up to 20 inches, but look at this note. There is a blank line inserted after every fourth printed entry. So we're going to do one, two, three, four inches, then we're gonna skip a line, five, six, seven, eight inches, and we're gonna skip a line, and so on, all the way up until we get to 20 inches. So um, not a very hard program, but you do have to think about it a little bit. We know that we're going to need a loop of some kind because, well, we could just do everything manually and put a separate print statement for every line, but that would be very inefficient. So we know we're going to need a loop of some kind. So let's go and look at what we have here. Uh, we have the main method here. And for now, I want you to focus on uh, the most important parts of this code. That is, we're declaring an integer in inches because we're going to go one inch, two inches, three inches, four inches, all the way up to 20 inches and we're declaring a double, which is a floating point number, uh, to hold the answer in feet, because we know when we convert inches to feet, we're gonna get a decimal result um, as we start doing that guy. And for now, just forget about the counter is equal to zero. Um, so what we have here is we have a for loop, all right? So we're setting up a for loop. We start out with the variable inches containing the number one. We're going to increment each time through the loop by one. So we're gonna go one inch, two inches, three inches every time we go through this loop. And we're going to run the loop for as long as this variable is less than or equal to 20. This is how we're doing the calculation from one to 20 because we're setting the loop up to execute from one to 20, incrementing by plus one each time. So the most important thing in this loop is that as we go through it, the variable feet, which is a double, is gonna be equal to inches, which is whatever we have each, it's going to be 1, then 2, then 3, then 4 as we go through the loop. We're dividing by 12. But notice that I'm putting 12.0 here. That is telling Java that we're going to, to, um, to this is going to be a floating point calculation. I'll get back uh, to, to that in just a minute here. I'll show you what happens if you take the decimal point off. But I've showed you that a little bit before. But basically, we're just taking the number of inches. We're dividing by 12. That's how you convert to feet. And then we're outputting something to the screen. We're saying... Uh, however many inches we're on, so this is going to print out the loop variable, that many inches is equal to, and then we're printing out our calculation that we just did, feet, and we're putting the word feet at the end. All right, so that is the crux of everything. What I want to do now is run this for you. I'm going to take this counter business out. I'm just going to comment it out. I'm putting a double slash to comment all this stuff out because a lot of times when you write a program, you get the skeleton of the program written and then you, you go back and you modify it. So that's what I did in this case. So I want to run it like this without any of this other business. All I did when I wrote this to begin with is I wrote the for loop, I did the conversion, and I wrote the output just to see if that part works. So let me go ahead and run that for you. It's uh, saying that there's an error in there. And the error is related to this curly brace that I left in here. You see, if I actually remove it, you can see down here, uh, Eclipse is putting a red dot here. It's trying to say that I have extra brackets that don't make sense. When I commented out this if statement, notice there's an opening curly here. You got to you got to comment both curlies out, and so everything will be removed from the code. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it and show you. This is what I essentially typed in before I I kind of gotten to the rest of the problem. When you go and run this, you can see the program essentially runs correctly. One inch is equal to blah, blah feet. Two inches is equal to this. Three inches is equal to this. Notice three inches is equal to a quarter of a foot. So every so often we get to nice decimals because that's how it works, right? 12 inches is equal to one, uh, one foot. So the program works correctly. The only difference or the only thing that really doesn't work right is that when we go up to the original problem, it says we need to have a blank line inserted after every fourth printed entry. That's really what makes this you know, a little bit more unique. And so we have to figure out a way to pull that off. We know how to print blank lines, but how do we do it every so often? So what we do is we create another variable of integer type, and we call it counter, right? And we set it equal to zero way up before the loop even starts. And every time we go through the loop, we increment this counter. This is going to keep track of what line we're on. Every fourth line, it's going to uh, print a, um, 
a blank line. So what we have here is we start at zero. Every time we go through the loop, for instance, we get here, the counter is incremented to one. And then every time we fall through the loop, it does a test. If the counter is equal to four, then print a blank line. Remember, when we do the print line command with nothing in it, it just prints a blank line. So only when this if is executed do we recount, reset the counter to zero. This resetting of the counter only happens when we actually print a blank line. So what's going to happen is we're going to go through here. The first time we're going to increment the counter to line one. The next time the counter will be two. The next time the counter will be three. The next time the counter will be four. Then it says, okay, counter's four, print a blank line, reset the counter to zero. And then we go back through again, the counter will be one, two, three, four, and then this will be true again, we'll print another blank line, and so on. So every time we fall through, we're incrementing the counter, and then we're, when we get to four, we print the blank line, reset the counter. Very common type of setup whenever you need to count things that are happening in a loop. So let's rerun it again, and let me drag this up and show you what we have now. So everything is behaving normally. We have the conversion going from 1 to 20. We have the printed answer here that looks correct. And we have a blank line inserted every fourth entry. This is why I wanted to comment out part of the code to begin with, because if you just look at this, sometimes you're like, well, what is all this doing? Really, the crux of the actual code is this. This stuff down here is just pulling off the printing of the blank line. So your code may look a little different. There are many ways to do this, but this was my way of doing it. And so go on and make sure you understand this. Try it yourself if you tried to do it a different way. And then go on to the next example where we will tweak this program a little bit more to get some extra functionality.